big tattoo artist who specialized in script. But yeah, like there was a guy, he contacted me and he said that his tattoo artist was totally fine with him bringing in external art to do. So did that. He liked it. I just have a couple of adjustments to make before the final product. So that is fun. And then I got... Uh, potentially a live gig in September, which is going to be cool too. I won't say with what or with who, because just, in, you know, knock on wood. Hopefully it goes through. Fingers crossed. I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. But pretty major, which is super exciting, because like, ugh, like I think most artists out there with COVID, it's like, hi, <laughs> no one has a lot of disposable income right now. So not everyone can just be like, hey, I'm going to hire someone to like hang out for eight hours and do something for me. So I'm always like really grateful for people who who want live art somewhere. That's really fun. But for that one, it's really cool. I, I Theoretically, I'm going to be calligraphying on someone's skin. So that'll be a super fun challenge. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I'm going to have to do a lot of research before that actually ends up happening. I'm figuring out how that's going to work. I have some ideas. If anyone else has any ideas of how to do it on skin with some like skin safe paint other than like my idea was going to be eyeliner. <laughs> That I was gonna uh, like liquid eyeliner that I was gonna grab from like Sephora or something and do some testing. So that'll be interesting to do, especially because it's supposed to be like a really interesting color that I have to do as well. So I have to find something that's like good enough for a couple different skin tones. the whole bottle so that'll be fun move that over move that here scooch i'm also going to turn the mic down so you can see or here rather but not fully ear piercing you know so i'm gonna
Okay, so yeah, that was engraving. So now I just have to wipe off all the dust from everything. I'm just wondering where I put my paper towel, which is hers. Ah, there we go. So essentially, it's just Windex that I'm going to be wiping all the all the schmutz off. So the engraving's going to disappear for a second, just because all the my marks and stuff are going to wipe off. Wow. I had to get a towel because it was so loud. It's like it's 9 p.m. My my um, my landlord lives right below us, so I have to be semi-aware <laughs> of the noise I make at night. Uh, there we go. Actually, my desk is black, so I wonder if you can see the contrast a little bit better. By, uh, there we go. Now you can see all the little leaves and stuff I added. So that turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. I might fill in some just like Maybe tomorrow, what, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on it and I'll see, I might fill in with some like flourishing, like actually calligraphy flourishing and stuff instead of just florally vines and stuff. Hey, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. Thank you. PK switch. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, pretty fun. I might actually add some color to it as well because I have some, um, specific pigment that goes into well technically it's not for engraving it's it's for like treating wood but um whenever you make marks and stuff in glass it like sits right into it and then you can kind of stain it actually i have an, an example if you guys are curious um like i did this vase a little while ago but essentially i did more or less what I did here, but this one I added some color to it as like a fun sample. So there's, this has, I think it's ink and gold or something, whatever the color is. So very fun. But yeah, I might leave it like just like that clear or I might add some color, like who knows. So yeah, there's that. Shall I leave it on screen? Maybe I'll leave it like here. So you really can't read my logo, <laughs> which is on the top of the screen. You really can't see it at all. Maybe he... Here? Here? Where does it go? Where do I leave it so it can still at least have some interest on the screen? Maybe there. It's a bit bright, but it's fine. Ah, oh, I know. <laughs> I'm like, where... Especially because it's on glass. Taking photos of glass is literally my nightmare. I actually hate it. Yeah, it's like I wish I could just kind of like shield it, but because it looks so nice in person, but it's just so bright over here, and I don't think I can adjust my lighting any better than it is because it's nighttime. So, anyways, you know what it looks like. It's here, and you can see it. <laughs> so yeah, then now I have these glasses that are were a dollar fifty. I'm gonna try and make them look more expensive than a dollar fifty by adding some like detailing to them. I'm just not sure what I want to do because at some point I want to use them. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at that. The dollar amount stickers are still on them and everything. <laughs> so you know, maybe I'll just take take that off. That no one needs to see. Exactly. No one has to know. Thank you, PK Switch. <laughs> Hopefully no 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 one will just come back on the stream and just see that I did this. Oh, this one's hard to take. Okay. Well, we're gonna pretend because I don't want to spend 20 minutes <laughs> on a stream trying to take a sticker off. Uh okay, so I'm not sure what I wanted to do on this one. If I wanted to like be really like basic and just like Mr. and Mrs. Because I eventually I'm gonna end up trying to put this on my Instagram. It's like a post. 
or as some sort of like marketing for myself of like guys you should pay me to do your engraving because i did this beautiful job you would never know that this was only a dollar fifty from dollarama because i've made it look so fancy um i'm trying to think what else could i put I could do like a flower or something maybe just like in the bowl part the problem with glass, although the benefit of Dollarama glass is that she thick. Because um, I had to do, oh my god, I had to do glasses last year that were like super thin, almost china. I almost had a panic attack trying to do them because I was like, I can't crack them, I can't break them because I won't be able to afford <laughs> like replacing these things. Because I don't even know how much these are worth. Um... Hmm... Maybe I, do I go like Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Bride, bride, groom, bride. I don't know. Any ideas? <laughs> yeah, no. Washing expensive wine glasses. I'm like, I can't anymore. Like I, I don't have any. Uh, I only have them if people have given them to me. I refuse to buy expensive wine glasses. And honestly, like these are, these are fine. Like, who cares? Uh, maybe I'll just go with a generic, like, wedding season-y type of thing. Because apparently people are starting to get married again, which would be great for me. Hello, business. Let's get that going. I just need... Do I have a sharpener? A calligrapher with no sharpener, of course. Um, yeah, let's try and... Let's sketch out some... Let's go just, like, really basic and just go... Mr. and Mrs. These wax pencils, by the way, are like the best thing that has ever been invented. I am telling you. I don't know how anyone used to do anything on glass if you can't like sketch it out first. It's crazy. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Mr. Now the challenge is, uh, I should have measured this out. I was trying to get the misses to be semi-even. <laughs> Pray for me. Wish me luck. God. Well, I think you guys are able to see at least my marks, which is great like the shine is she's intense but it's like you're at least able to see it God, I don't know what Spotify is making me. Spotify is making me listen to. I don't even know what this is. Ugh, it's awful. Anyways, uh, what's the queer equivalent to the Mr. and Mrs. trope for weddings? Um, well, I've definitely I've had Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Um, or they'll ask for their actual names. I haven't had anyone ask for like they them. Yeah, the the most, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's like Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mrs. or their actual names, generally speaking. 
Because I actually, I don't know. It's a, a great question. I actually don't know. I'm sure there's a way to Google it. Because um, an old colleague of mine goes by they, them. Um, and they're getting married. Well, I think they were supposed to get married this summer. Yeah, they were supposed to get married this summer, but their wedding has been pushed till next year because of, you know, the rust and the rest of the world going, you know, up in flames. I'm predicting that 2020, we won't even get to 2021. I think Yosemite is going to... Or Yellowstone? No, Yellowstone. I said Yosemite because I was thinking of Trump. Um, Yellowstone, I think, is uh, going to end end us all. <laughs> this year I'm very pessimistic. Yeah, anyways, I'm, I'm not sure what they, uh, I'm sorry for my, my little tangent, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what they would go by if like you do the generic basic, like they, them thing, uh, or the Mr. Mrs. thing. Like, I don't know if they would go by they, them on the glass or if they would just go by their, like their name. How does that look? Does that look pretty even? Uh, the Mrs. looks kind of fat. <laughs> oh, that's what hopefully she didn't say but anyways uh, it's a bit too spaced out sorry let's let's make the mister a bit bigger I'll just do it by eye I won't try and be too precise again this is this is just essentially for marketing on my end so it doesn't matter too much I'm not this isn't for a client or anything this is more for me playing how even do you look my loopy over here needs to be bigger. It's also a bit easier for me to gauge by looking at the camera because it's flat down versus like my angle. It's a little harder to tell, whereas this is a little easier. Honestly, I'm really out of touch, to be honest, with wedding stuff right now too because no one's gotten married this year. Or if they got married, they're like very small. Which makes total sense, like I get it, but I feel like hopefully by next year I won't forget everything that I know because I haven't been doing weddings at all. I've been doing a lot of like just like small one-off commissions for for people. Like I was mentioning the tattoo before or like um, I just finished like a poetry uh, book that, for someone that they had, they had sent me like a little paper like carnet that uh they had written a poem for their SO and uh, they wanted me to transcribe the poem into this little handmade hand like handmade paper uh, booklet that they had bought so I just did that and that was really fun so I used to work in, in invitations and stuff so like I know a lot of the that etiquette of you know theoretically what you should and shouldn't say for like how to address envelopes and all of that stuff. I'm just hoping that next year I'll still remember all of the things that I used to know. <laughs> uh, how about that? Uh, yeah, close enough. All right. I'm gonna put the mic down again so your ears don't bleed. You're super welcome. Actually, I'm gonna put my my mask on. By the way, if anyone watching ever does engraving on glass, uh, safety super first. Oh god, yeah. I'm gonna probably put something in them, to be honest, like rocks or something that are dark so you see them. But um, yeah, if anyone ever does any kind of engraving with glass, um, super safety first. Um, I'm actually really glad that masks are like a huge thing now because it's way easier for me to get now. But you have to wear a mask that has some kind of filter in it because the particles that glass give off are super, super fine. Um, and they're really not good for you to breathe in. So like short of an N95, uh, if you can't get one, like a, an actual like cloth mask that has the space to put a filter in is like, per, like pretty good. It's not as good as an N95, but it's going to be way better than breathing in that 
dust. It's not good for you. Um, and always like, I wear glasses, so it's not so bad. But if you don't wear glasses, like honestly, some kind of safety goggles. I know it sounds like overkill, but like nothing worse if you're doing that. And then like it breaks, shatters, goes into your eyeball. Not good. Uh, number two, honestly, it's a really big irritant. If I do a lot of things in glass all at once, I do actually wear safety goggles over my glasses because if because glasses like you can you go through them right, but with safety goggles like you have it fully closed because my eyes do get irritated if I do too much. So, anyways, there's my safety PSA. Well, thank you for coming to my TED talk. down goes the mic volume.
Yay! Uh, reverse ASMR is pretty much the most accurate statement for how annoying that sound is, which is why I always wear my headphones when I do it. Regardless, I'm like, I'm listening to music now, but even if I'm not, they need to be on because, oh my God. <laughs> it's so high pitched and crazy. All right. The dust. I think this turned out not bad. You see my my reflection in there, isn't that it's weird? I think that blah, blah, blah. I think that turned out pretty good, considering I freehanded it. The R on the misses is a bit messy, but <laughs> oh yeah, get one of the really big. I actually have one like a painter's mask that was a purple one with the big like thing, but. Oh yeah. I had the you mean like the other like the steampunk masks? Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> maybe next maybe the next time there's a Comic Con, I'll go and I'll grab one from one of the booths. Anyways, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Yay! Not bad for Dollarama glasses, hello. Now I know that it it works to engrave too. Because I don't think I'd engraved on Dollarama ones before. Don't these look fancier though? <laughs> Um, oh yeah, another little PSA. If, again, I don't know if anyone here will ever engrave glass, but just in case, the um, stuff that I use to add color should never be used on something that you might eat out of because it's toxic. Um, so yeah, like if you're on a glass or on some kind of like uh, a knife, because people will engrave like metal cake, cake cutting sets and stuff for like gifts. And uh, yeah, you can never add color to those because you should never eat them. But yeah, there we go. There's my work for tonight. I think that that was pretty cool. And I think I'll leave it there. Now I have some things to think about. I'm still trying to debate if I wanna if I wanna add color to the sky or not, or if I wanna add a little more schmutz in the inside. But I think I'll, I think I'll wait till tomorrow to think about that because sometimes I'll uh, if anyone watches Jenna Marbles you know what I say I have the too much gene sometimes I sometimes have the too much gene I don't know when to stop like when I first got my engraver my husband literally had to hide things from me because I was like what can be engraved like where are all the things around the apartment that can, I could it was a problem I like so many of his whiskey bottles <laughs> have stuff on it. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Label all the things. Engrave all the things. So I'm just like, cool, I can engrave glass. What else can I engrave? I can engrave stone. Amazing. Can I engrave a gate? Yes, I can. Amazing. Give me wood. Give me ever Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Anyways. If anyone has any questions for me, I don't know what questions you would have, but I, I'm i open to answering them. I was gonna stay on for until 10 o'clock, so, or 10, 10 EST. I don't know where the heck you guys are, but so another 10 minutes or so of my time. I'm here. Burb, Burb is good. Burb is asleep, which is why there's no Conyer cam today. Uh, we put him to bed at around 7.30. Because he's like a child and needs about 10 to 12 hours of sleep. Because <laughs> if he doesn't, he's a cranky bitch. And he eats my hand. He was a bit of a cranky asshole this morning. Hence that right there. That was a nice little little chomp. As I wasn't paying attention properly. He's, yeah. He, he fed the dough. Although I'm sure he hears my voice and I'm sure he's like talking to himself in the room because he's in the other office that's further back in the apartment. But he's good. He's been been molting a lot, so he has lots of pin feathers that are coming in. So, you know, that's always pleasant, which is I think why he's being a bit bitchy these days. Because if you've never, if you've, have you had a bird before, PK Switch? 
I don't remember if I've asked you this before. No way. So conures specifically, at least, I don't know about all birds, but at least conures are parrots regardless. Uh, they slowly will rotate their feathers, like they'll fall out and then new ones will grow in, but they grow in with like a casing on them that they bite off. Um, I don't have any feathers around right now, his page is there, but anyways. Uh, but when they, they come in, it's kind of, it feels like a porcupine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the fun with none of the cleanup. <laughs> That's why I like other people's kids. Cause I'm just like, I'll be the fun like aunt that comes 